Hey everybody, we got Ohio State's first day of spring football practice. I'm going to react to what I see here and just kind of give you some details. Let's jump into it right now. Looks like we got a little warm-up going on here, finishing up. One of the fun things about watching these spring football practices is watching just how the coaches set the intensity. All right, looks like we cut from a little warm-up to... Um, running backs right here and what I'm seeing is I'm going back and forth and watching this <clears throat> good tempo lines small lines are small look at how fast these coaches are whipping them through this drill you got multiple grad assistants helping out here trying to poke the ball out this is first day of spring practice you are trying to set the tempo, set the intensity, and this is something um, I guarantee you that before this practice, they sat down in a meeting, maybe multiple meetings, where they were instructed on this is exactly what's going to happen, this is when it's going to happen, this is the drill you're going to do. Um, they're not going out there and explaining things on day one, like, all right, guys, now let's do this. Here's what I want you to do. They've already known and been prepped on what's going to happen so that as soon as they get out there the intensity is full go and that's a good thing that um, you can do a, a lesson you can take from this all right now they're doing another one this is kind of a gauntlet drill we'll go back back to that again so we got just a four point uh, cone agility drill now we got a, a gauntlet drill all the guys here trying to knock the ball out just ball protection Another simple drill there. All right, now we got quarterbacks with looks like tight ends. Just working some routes, block, release, catch, and get up field. Everything's got it all included here. So just working a one on one, quarterbacks jumping in there. That's one of the things when you're coaching and teaching young guys is just getting them to jump in and be ready to go for that next rep is always tricky. Um, seems like guys just don't know when to get the feel to jump in and go. And so you got to coach them up on that. you got to help them out. Same with over here. All right, now we got quarterbacks are working some read option here. Let's go back on this here. This is a good look here. And I'm going to slow this down a little bit. Slow this down to about half speed, and now we'll watch it here. All right, so we got a read option. Quarterback is reading that defensive end for a give. Right here, coach is playing, and I talked about this in one of my other videos, how coaches need to be the the guy they need to give um, the quarterback his read because you know it better than anybody else you know exactly what it's going to look like trying to teach a kid to do that can be pretty tricky let's go back here and I like they've got a quarterback over here replicating it He's getting a rep. This is real interesting. This quarterback over here on the side, you'll see him right here. He is getting a rep even though he's not handing it off to anybody. He's still simulating it. And that's pretty cool. You can have, have your extra quarterback who's not in still get that rep and do it on his own. He could be behind. He could be on the side. But all he's got to do is listen to the cadence and then get his extra rep in right here. So you don't have a whole bunch of quarterbacks standing off to the side. That's a phenomenal idea right there. I really like that. All right, right now, his only determination is can that defensive end tackle the running back? I would say no, or at the very best, he's going to get an arm on him, which is not good enough. So you give the ball, and it's a give. You can see he's got the ball, and then... As a coach, you're going to want to have him carry out that fake and force the defender to cover you. 
and pick you up if he's not going to go with him. All right, let's see the next quarterback up here. Shift. Right now, that's a give for sure. He's not coming down hard at all. We've got the give. Then we're going to carry out the fake. Kind of interesting he went over the bag there. I would have thought he would have carried it out up to the outside here. Coach is probably chasing after him to tell him what he did wrong. All right, let's see what we got. Give. No way that DN's going to make that play there. If he doesn't come down hard right away, it's a give. Up, oh, quarterback decides to keep it. Pretty risky there, but you know if you make the call and you go with it, you got to stay with it. And I think he's just anticipating his coach is going to do something that he doesn't do. And reading reading defenders is something you got to just trust and. Um, get the feel for it. It's not something you can think about too much. All right, now they're going to the opposite direction. Okay, so this is the same side handoff. So a little different technique here. Watch this. Now they're not coming across. Instead of going across as if they're running a zone, um, now this is almost uh, more like an inside straight up the gut run. Same side handoff, and he's looking to either come back and notice the quarterback and the running back are um, carrying out the fake, or or our uh, running back's going to the same side as the quarterback's going to. He's not looking to cut it across and run opposites like you would in a typical read zone. Um, interesting thing here. Check this out. This is another great. Watch how they're doing this. This is fantastic. So if he gives... Coach is going to toss him a ball, and we've got um, probably another coach out here that he's going to throw it to to simulate. There's option one is a give. Option number two is a quarterback run. But instead of the run, he's going to toss him a ball, and we're going to work uh, a throw on the run to option number three. So we're working all aspects of that option there. Here we go, give, toss him the ball, catch, throw. Notice the running back's got to get around a pad here. That's a nice detail they've added into the drill there. All these drills take so much coaching and time to do that you, you can definitely tell they are efficient and ready to go today. But that running back quarter, quarterback mesh looks real solid. Let's take a look at this right here. So now we're back to an opposite side instead of the same side, more like a zone read. But give the quarterback the ball, have him throwing it out here to another quarterback right there. Now you can see how they work all three aspects of the um, option route right there. Get the read. Oh, this is a good one. Coach stepped down on that one, so we kept the ball. And there we go. We got a cone out there, so we're working at a proper angle. Excellent. Making sure everybody's getting it exactly how you want it. Coach squeezes. Quarterback should be keeping the ball. And he's got to get outside, but notice he's not just getting outside and stretching out here. He's getting outside and he's cutting it up at the cone. And of course, you got your uh, your coach here hollering at him, making sure he finishes it. And I would bet this coach is going to keep track of how many times guys don't finish their runs, and there's going to be some kind of a consequence if guys don't finish it appropriately, either at the end of practice, after practice, or some other time. Hand off, toss it, and throw. All right, now we got quarterbacks throwing two receivers. Real simple. 
Hitch route into the boundary. One step, catch and throw. So we're just working basic fundamentals here. Easy stuff. Nothing too difficult, but that's 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 what you call a gift route. If the corner is far enough off your receiver that five yards into the boundary hitch, take it every time. Doesn't matter what the call is. All right, coach is changing something up here. He gave another signal. Let's see what this means. All right, inside release. Looks like an out route. Inside release, two steps up, break it out, probably around eight to 10 yards, and out route. Just rotating through here. Still working the same route. Okay, next drill. Now that now we're looks like we're doing more of a play action fake and then a comeback. Watch a quarterback's action here. He's gonna fake, drop down, one step drop, and run about that eight or ten yard comeback. Receiver's pushing up, breaking back to the outside. Push, push, push. Come back. That ball placement should be low and to the outside, right where he can catch it and turn up outside. Do not want to make sure, do not want to let that throw um, arrive on the inside of the receiver. Lead him into his turn. So as he catches it, it's an easy turn outside and up the hash. Good reps with that. See where we're at the next thing here. Nice job, coach is showing a linebacker buzzing out. And receiver's got to find the window. So this looks like we got a number two receiver with a linebacker head up over the top. He's got to read where to sit to make sure he's in the window. And quarterback should make that throw to his inside shoulder. If he's got a defender closest to him on the outside, should be an inside shoulder throw so he can catch and turn inside and up. So, nice look there. Inside, sit down, and get upfield. Getting lots of reps real fast. This is a good example here. Watch the receiver's demeanor as they break down. Inside, up. See how low his nose is over his toes, nose over the toes. Great technique in breaking down. Helps keep your feet under you. Helps you get your body around. Nice catch away from the defender. That was a great look. So. A lot of cool things you can pick up in this uh, spring football practice of Ohio State. Um, hope you enjoyed it, coaches. I'm Jason Hansot with Football Coaching Brotherhood, and this is the Coaches React Show. Uh, make sure you check out our Facebook page, Football Coaching Brotherhood, where we've got a whole lot of um, videos, one a day, one video a day of um, just cut-ups, all 22 cut-ups and some coaching strategies and ideas that you can pick up on, as well as the uh, Coaches React um, video blog here where you can get a lot more um, information on what teams are doing and how um, you can learn from watching their practices.